And what I'm gonna do in this video is, since I gained three pounds this week, what I'll do is, I'm gonna give you guys a tip for every pound that I gained this week. Just little insights of what I gained throughout the week that can help you guys. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the vlog. This is week number two. I just woke up. I'm super tired, man. I woke up late. It's like 10 o'clock. I always plan on waking up at like six in the morning and I never do it. First thing I gotta do is get on the scale and see if I made any progress over the last week. So let's check it out. All right, so 162 is where I ended up at, which is not bad for a week. Kind of right around where I wanted to be at. You know, one to two pounds is optimal uh, for a lean bulk. Unless you're trying to dirty bulk, you really don't want any more than that. And uh, I don't know, I don't have anything against dirty bulk and I just can't do it. Like, whenever I try to eat a bunch of junk, I literally feel like I'm about to throw up. Like, I don't know why, but I can't do it. So one to two pounds a week, got three. That wasn't on purpose, but I'm not complaining at all. So uh, let's go ahead and get the meal number one. Let's get going. All right, guys, meal number one is my smoothie. All right, so tip number one is keep it simple. Yes, again, I'm eating or drinking the same smoothie that I had last week, and that's for a reason. Uh, all your meals, you want them to be as simple as possible so that you can keep track of them. When you're choosing your meals, choose something that's not too expensive, something that you know that you can repeat over and over again until you figure out what that base amount of calories is for you in order to gain weight. You want this to be a marathon, not a sprint. You want it to be something that lasts over time. So again, tip number one, keep it simple. Yo, after I burnt my hand, can't even see nothing, but it's burnt. You just gotta trust me. And I opened up the eggs to cook and then realized I ain't got no eggs. So I went to work, got your boy some more eggs. Yo, so check it out. Back from meal number two. Exact same thing as last week. Four eggs, four slices of bread, or two egg sandwiches. You you know, depending on how you want to say it. Hold on, my egg's burning. So tip number two, timing. One thing that I noticed throughout last week was whenever I timed my meals right, it was really easy to get my meals in throughout the day. But I think it was like day number two, maybe day number three, I forget which one it was, but it was one of those. Hold on, my egg's burning. But yeah, so we worked it at like noon. And I had only had one meal. But by the time we finished working out, it was about three maybe, 3.30ish. So I got home and uh, of course I hadn't ate since what, nine o'clock that morning. So then you're talking about the feeding window is just way smaller at that point. So I had my, my second meal at like 3.30. So then I usually go to bed at about 10, 30, 11. So you're talking about four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven hours to try to fit in three more meals. So you're trying to fit it into a smaller feeding window and it makes it more difficult to get those meals in. I had my third meal at like seven or eight o'clock and then come 10 or 11 o'clock when I'm tired and ready to go to bed, it was like, shoot, I gotta try to fit in the rest of my meals for that day. Dang it. Messing up the eggs, what? God. Anyway, so what ended up happening was, it was like 10 or 11 o'clock and I'm trying to fit in my last two meals plus my little snack or whatever, uh, all in one meal, which was super hard. So I ended up staying up like three hours extra that night, just trying to get in my, all my meals. Now I was eating constantly for three hours. Try not to wait too long in between meals. You don't have to be like, you know, have your alarm set for every three hours and then, all right, it's time to eat. I gotta go eat right now. If you're eating, you know, four to five meals a day or even six, try to keep that time frame two to four hours between all of your meals. That's gonna make it super easy 
to get all your meals in throughout the day regardless of how low of an appetite you have. Use this tip, I promise you it works. Time your meals accordingly around your schedule and this will help you. So I gotta eat man, food burn. Yeah, that way. All right, y'all, I'm done cooking. Got the meal, eggs, sandwiches, you know. I got a stack of rice cakes for some extra carbs. And I got some water. It's crystal light, but it's, it's water, bro. All right, so I'm about to eat this. I'm about to watch some Pump Chasers. Shout out Chris Jones. And uh, I'll see y'all at meal number three. All right, y'all, so I finished eating meal number three. Now I gotta cook to eat meal number four and number five and to meal prep for the next day. I need to start doing my stuff in a bigger bulk so I don't have to cook so often because I do not like cooking. But it's a necessity if you're trying to put on the games. I'm sure you other hard gainers already know what time it is, so hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. I mean, I hate being over like this. And a quick power tip for you, try to do something to make your workflow easier when you have to cook. For instance, I've been eating ground turkey, right? I usually mix onions and peppers with it for extra flavor. So the first couple of days when I was making this, I was cutting onions and peppers like every other day and it was getting on my nerves. So what I did was I took like three onions, cut them up and put them in Tupperware. That way I don't have to cut them every single day and I did the same thing with the peppers. And it just makes it way easier. So when I go to have to cook, sorry. So when I have to go to cook, it makes things easier and faster so that you can repeat it over a longer period of time without having to put forth so much effort and be in the kitchen all day. Unless you love to cook, um, which I absolutely don't, then this is gonna get real old real fast. All right, y'all, meal number three is what I was prepping earlier. Meat and rice peppers and onions, you know what it is. It's gonna be my pre-workout meal in about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I'm gonna go hit the gym, chest day, so uh, you know what time it is. It's time to make some gains. Let's get it. All right, so we're actually not at the gym yet. I went to the gym and it was like, 8,251 people in there, so there was no way that I could record. But I was in the middle of eating and forgot that I was vlogging, so I got meal number four right here. Meal number four, I'm halfway done, and then when I get back from working out, my post workout meal is gonna be the cereal. So if you're still watching, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to like this video. I'll see you in the next one. I'll take you guys with the gym with me, and then you won't see me until next week. Peace.